Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Trucking Sim Gaia, and today I've got something exciting to share with you. I've spent countless hours playing Transport Fever 2 and getting lost in the world of trucks and logistics, but recently I've been bitten by the train bug and I can't wait to dive into Railway Empire 2, and that's what we're checking out here today. I have to admit I haven't played the first Railway Empire so I'm a total noob when it comes to the series but that's okay because we're all here to learn and have fun. So uh, I'm hoping to have a blast playing this game and I hope you enjoy watching me navigate through it. So uh, let's get started. Um, what I decided was to actually play were, uh, through the campaign first. So we're going to go to new game. Um, before we head to that I, I have taken the tutorial I just want to show you guys here. So I had to get familiar with this game because it's the first time getting in. I don't know what to expect. Um, and it says here, since you have completed all the tutorials, a special paint job has been unlocked for the Reindeer 440 that you can activate in the engine shed. So I'm going to check it out. Definitely. We're going to check it out. Check what's the paint, uh, the paint job about. So let's get into the game. New game. And then we're going to head over to the campaign. They've got a lot of gameplays that you can get into here. Yeah? We've got a custom game. I think that you can actually design the map and play the way that you want to play basically not design the map but uh just like customize it to your liking you know um and then we've got the scenarios and stuff which you can play using just a just a um like whichever part of the map you want to play on in the, on the american map or you can actually uh you can go up to europe and play the, the parts of europe you can actually go to the whole map as well you can choose i know there's an option i'm just looking for it uh i guess it's not sure but i know it is in the, the scenario and stuff so you can do that all maps north america europe all maps there we go so that's what you can do there and then you get the sandbox mode as well which basically everyone knows you just play the game at your own uh speed do what you like uh, i'm not sure if you can uh enable the competitors i'm not sure but i will be getting into the uh, the sandbox mode after i finish the campaign i just want to play the campaign to familiarize myself with it but so we're, we're playing the campaign chapter one out of five so i'm only going to play the first chapter um which is the american north american northeast so we're going to start off in boston the year 1830 and this is your size of the map uh, 1.4 million kilometers square number of cities 18 53 businesses so <clears throat> this conquest is about the year is 1830 in america the railroad business takes its first steps in this chapter you'll start a technological revolution guided by a hardware entrepreneur erastus corning Get to know the economic system of, of Railway Empire 2 as you conquer the East Coast. So we're just gonna get to know the game basically in this campaign mode. So let's get started. So our character, let's see, Walter Pajong. Um we should change that, eh? Let's just see, Professor. So let's let's just have a look at the, the different characters. Oh, we can't change. Okay, so we only gonna play the professor. So the cost of an auction. Are subsequently reduced by 30 percent uh fluent in business all locomotives are 60 percent cheaper that's cool so we are unpopular well our company over him i'm not sure 15 percent less revenue from passengers and mail so i'm not sure if he's a good or bad guy but well, we're gonna find out walter was born as the son of a baker in stuttgart germany but broke with family tradition to apprentice as a stonemason always a bright and articulate mind he managed to snatch a position as professor of descriptive geometry afterwards through his hard work he got a contract to plan a small railway line in germany which he was able to complete with great success other projects sorry other projects followed soon aware of this aware of his considerable improv, improvisational skills walter sees the railway business as a game sometimes you lose but in the end only the winner matters all right seems about hardcore straight to it so let's get to it uh I'd, I'd like to change his name but it's fine we'll leave it as walter payonk okay so difficulty level we're gonna leave it the way it is the higher the level of difficulty the greater the factor which will your score which with which your score will be multiplied after completing all tasks the so minus times 1.05 
We can't change a competitor. We can't change anything. We're starting with 2.5 million coins. Bridge cost, tunnel cost, maintenance cost, all set up to 100%. Unlimited refunds. Okay, city founding off. Let's go. The 19th century was a golden age of technology, especially for those of us whose hearts beat with the steady pace of the locomotive. My name is Nagelmakers. I assume you have already heard of me. When I was young, I had a dream a cross-border luxury train from Paris to St. Petersburg. To make my dream come true, I invited guests. In another time, entrepreneurs like them were the driving force behind progress, but now they were standing in my way. Take this gentleman, for example. I was planning to revolutionize the industry just as pioneers like him had done in the early days of the railroad. The late 1820s marked the beginning of a revolution in transportation, both in the old and the new world. Fueled by steady growth, the industrial centers on the East Coast demanded more and more resources in less and less time. Roads and even the newly built waterways could hardly meet the increasing demand. However, inspired minds had combined the idea of tracks and the new invention of the steam engine into a powder keg that was to shake society to its foundations. It only took ambitious pioneers to light the fuse. Ah, glad you're here. The name is Corning. Erastus Corning, you must be the young railroad expert that was recommended to me. Other people don't think much of this newfangled nonsense, but I think investment into this railroad thing and your company is money well spent. I'm the proud owner of a hardware company, and the more railway lines you construct using my steel, the richer I'll get. So don't go bankrupt. But why don't you just get started using the to-do list I created? My company is situated in Albany, so you should connect this city as soon as possible. Don't worry about the difficult terrain. Clever planning is everything. All right, so we are in the game, Railway Empire 2. It's looking good. The graphics look good. And um, I can't say anything bad about it because um, I don't know this game that well. So. <clears throat> We're going to get into it now. Um, well, as a newcomer, I'm excited to explore the possibilities this game has to offer. And from what I've seen, it's about building and managing your own railway empire, connecting cities, delivering goods. So um, let's let's get into it. And I um, hope you guys bear with me as I learn the ropes. Because um, we might encounter some hiccups along the way. <laughs> and I'm going to try my best to build an efficient route manage the resources and expand the empire so uh, i'm excited hope you guys enjoy let's start but let's see what's on our to-do list All right, um, so take charge of an early railroad company and conquer the East Coast as a technological revolution gets underway. So we've got um, deliver eight loads of lumber to Boston. Mr. Corning has already built a first station at a lumber yard nearby, which can be put into operation immediately. Livestock is also offered at the lumber yard. If necessary, you can prioritize wood by selecting the station in the station list of the rail line. 
Okay. So we need to get eight lumber delivered to Boston. Eight loads of lumber. So let's have a look at the station. Do we already have a station? Yeah. But well, we didn't connect it up to get lumber. So let's look for uh, the lumber yard. Oh, there we go. There's right here. Greed stop. Sorry about my voice, guys. I'm just uh, recovering from the flu. So please bear with me. Okay, so we have a station already created as well. We've got 2.5 million. So let's go construct some tracks. We're going to start with the inner track to the station, which is this. The mechanics for building tracks is quite interesting. I haven't really... Um, use the mechanics like this before it actually creates the track for you that's a uh, actually a time saver and it does help it's quite uh, ingenuitive so i like that not to say that i don't like building my tracks as well uh track by track you know um but this is kind of cool so uh we are going with a bit of a bend and a straight line we got two percent of an incline i think which is okay we can drop it a bit but it might affect the track on the other places as well um let's just see so we can click here and we can uh press shift with the wheel on the mouse to, to lower it so it actually increases it by one percent and we got max speed so that's better but yeah it, it got affected so we really can't win win but it's fine uh, let's just uh, bring that in a little bit that should be okay so we'll build that and then we're actually going to build the second track to go with it from there to there and it already laid the track down for us, so that's how it's going to look perfectly. Alright, so we're going to go ahead with that as well. And then we're going to lay down the grid iron. Now this in Transport Fever 2, um, I just call it a criss cross. <laughs> but I was trying to get the name. The name is grid iron or gridron or however you want to pronounce it. Um... But it's the same thing so the, the 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 engine i mean uh the track ends around uh, ends around here for the station so we can add the good iron around here there we go no right off well, there we go so we can add that there Okay, and then we can add this one here. But just this, uh, this just allows for the track to be used as a, um, as a parallel track. So you one way uh, to go, one way to come. So we can use multiple trains on this track without any congestion. All right, so now let's define the directions. <clears throat> I always like to have my right track as the the um, one that's that's going and the left track is the one that's returning if that makes sense but um you get what i'm trying to say okay so that's defined and if we head down to the track we can see that it auto lays the the stops as well there we go so you can see the um, the signals are in place sorry the signals not not the stops the signals and then we also want to um, we also want to add a supply tower. Now, during the tutorial, I, I actually preferred laying the, 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 the tower, the supply tower, at the middle of the track, which should be about here, I think. But that's fine. Okay, and then we 
we can't forget. So at the Boston station, we have to add a maintenance depot so we can repair the trains because they do uh, degrade over time. So I've done that. Okay, so that's our track all laid out. Let me just, there we go. So it's going all the way up towards the, um, the east there. Into green stop. Wow, this map looks amazing. Amazing. All right, so let's go. Let's uh, create our route from Greenstock to Boston. Um, we're going to be carrying a load of lumber. We need to pause this. Okay, so Flamingo Railroad in New Record. So they have reached 24 kilometers. That's our our competitor. Okay, so new railroad new railroad line from Green Stop to Boston. So all you gotta do is click on this icon right here with the plus and the train. It's a new railroad, and then you're just gonna click on the green um, markers for your stops. And now we select our train. So I'm sure we're not gonna have much of a train. We've got okay, we've got two. We've got the grasshopper, which is for mixed. And we've got the John Bull, which is for mixed as well. Tractive power is better on the John Bull, so we're going to go with that. And uh, loading, we're not going to make it automatic. We should actually load it manually. And then we're going to edit the station you know, for, for what we load. We're not taking anything from Boston. We're only going to load a green stock. So, um, we're going to actually load wood. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. Let me just have a look here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It seems to be I'm doing it right. Um, where, where are my rail lines? There we go. I haven't created yet. <laughs> right. Okay, so I get it. So you can select the priority once you click on the stop. All right, cool. That's fine. So that's what we're loading, prioritize, prioritizing the wood. And uh, so we can leave that automatic. That's cool. Um, let me just... John Bow, we did agree on that. Okay, so the next, we're going to go from green stop to Boston. There we go. Okay, so line created. Let's get more low here, get a better view. Okay, and then loading automatic. Um, just gonna put it as freight and we get used to that. And then we're gonna confirm. We've got one train on the line, we're gonna confirm. So there we go. But hard to actually look at stuff through the trees. Boston Alabama Railroad is a new innovator. Okay, cool. So we are prioritizing lumber. Let me get a closer look. So let's have a look at this train being loaded.
I think we can ride the train as well. Let's just hop into that screen. And yeah, we're gonna ride along. So we can turn. Oh, yeah, my bad. And then we use AD to actually move the camera around and FW as well. Ooh, that looks good. So we'll be going at 27 kilometers per hour. So we're gonna let that do its thing. Let me just pull up onto this uh, map. Oh, uh, they're almost at the destination. They've got a lot, many uh, cabbages carrying lumber, so logs, sorry. So how much are we getting paid? $125,000 bonus for new connection. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot. to revolutionize the way we have been transporting goods up till now. So I see these lines of uh, these dots here, so I think the city where we need to go in line with, I'm sure. Not the Charlotte's fault. So we've done with the first task. Now we need to deliver eight loads of sugar to Boston. Connection bonuses are paid after the first delivery has arrived. So sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. So this is this farmstead, it's called Kelly Farmstead, and this is where they actually um, make the sugar, how they filter the sugar somehow. I kind of forgot how sugar is made. I think it's through filtration. I think. Okay, so let's just get a station laid here, and uh, let's, let's get on with getting some sugar moved. Let's turn this around. So to turn around the station, we hold down shift and we use the wheel on the mouse. There we go. So let's have a look at which way we are going. So we're going up there. So we can have the station. Tilted like this. That should be fine. Okay, so this place is called Kelly Stop. There's just too many trees. Okay, so time for track construction. We're not going to use the same track as the first two. We're going to put that onto this track. Well, I need to actually test this mechanics of this track. So if I use this track here, will the, the train on the other end wait for this load to be offloaded? So I'm going to test that, but not right now. Or you can just let me know if it works like that. Okay, so this track looks good. We don't have any um, 
inclines and stuff. It's a million rand though, because we are going under the tunnels, which is not good. Not good at all. So let's try and uh, make that a cheaper option. Do we lift it up? Yeah, there we go. Cool. So here we got a 1% incline. No, decline, sorry. That's fine. That just helps. Alright, so we're building that and then we're getting the second track laid in as well. Okay. Get our good iron in place. There's some cool tunes going on in the background. But I don't have that too high because then you won't be able to hear me. Okay, so now we've got the good iron in place. Let's define our direction. There we go. Directions are down. And now we need to create our route. So new rail line. Um, Kelly stop to Boston. Um, trains, ah, sorry, let's just click there. So we're still going to use the John Bull. We're going to confirm that. And it's automatic loading because there's only sugar there to pick up, so that's fine. Let's have a look. So that sugar being loaded out there. I actually need to uh, put down a tower, um, a supply tower. Alright, so we we'll let them be on the way. I just need to add a supply tower. Right about here seems fine. Um, there we go, supply tower. There we go. You actually can't see it unless you look at the, the icon here, which is a circle. So that should be um, a little bit off the middle, but it's okay. So we don't need a maintenance post. We already have one at the Boston um, station, so that's fine. So we're going to deliver 8 loads of sugar to Boston. The next we have to tra transport 320 passengers without changing trains from Boston to Portland. So the train is coming in. I should have added the tracks today. I should have been much more efficient but um that's fine i'm learning let's just fast forward the game a bit 
and uh, there we go we've got the train coming in So we got 250,000 for that bonus. Cool. There's some uh, sad ti uh, Titanic music going on in the background now. That's getting a bit upbeat. Great. My company owes you. Cool. So now we need to focus on getting 320 passengers from Boston to Portland without changing things. That means we don't, we don't have, we, we're not supposed, we're not going to have um, a stop in between them. Okay. All right. Let's do that. So I know Portland. I think it's to the uh, north. I think that's the meat industry there we go there's Portland so yeah it is a long way is it no it's not so how are we gonna do this can we join this line to actually come out there yeah we can Well, we're going to try. Okay, so we got a connection bonus as well. All right, that looks good. So let's get um, the rail going. So we need passengers to Portland. Let's hook that up. Actually, we need to start. No. We need to start there. Let's look at how we're going to connect these two up. Okay. We get it so there we go so that's that is the on the going lane the going lane yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah that's that's right right we got that hooked up so we're gonna build that and then we're gonna have this going on the inside lane I hope it's right. Well, we're gonna find out. That was like thirty-two thousand, and the other one was more expensive than that. But they actually not that bad. Okay, so they are gonna be riding on these lanes. Need to have the good eye in you. Uh, that's the one. Okay. And then the direction. So yeah, these are going up. So this is going to go up. Nope, that way. That's going to come down. There we go. Uh, I don't know if we need a good eye in here. I'm not too sure. I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Although we've got um, signals here. So that that's fine. That's fine. Ooh. let's go and add our supply tower so we've got one supply tower oh, yeah and that should be sufficient actually to supply yeah that's fine that will actually work both ways for, for portland uh, traffic and for the green stop traffic that's fine perfect 
um, and then the train can actually get repaired at Boston for now cool so let's create the line now so we're gonna have a lay uh, let's see Boston and Portland okay so we're gonna create the line Boston to Portland So we've only got mixed trains for now so we're going to use this guy the john bull what a strong name uh automatic we're going to have it for express because we, we, we want freight and um, mail cool and it actually says here yeah, so express is for freight uh mail uh sorry passengers and mail <laughs> okay right okay there we go so we've got our first passenger rail Hooked up. We need to transport 320 passengers. There is a way to see how many passengers are waiting. I'm gonna figure it out now. Um, I did see that in the tutorial, but I kind of forgot. But we're gonna find that out now. So I think we click on the station. Ah, oh, there we go. So we got 410 waiting here. So that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. And then let's head over to Portland. And have a look at how many they have waiting. The demand for the imported good meat has been reduced because it's reached the maximum maximum stock level. Okay. So yeah, we'll have a look at what they need. But for now, just for the just for the task list, we need to just transport passengers. We're not going to worry about um, goods right now for Portland. What did I do? What did I do? Oh, we got sugar up here as well. Cool. Okay. Let's click on the bottom station. So we've got a lot of people waiting here as well. And mail. It's 480 for, for passengers, 432 for mail. That train is it's moving. There we go, it's right here. It's like a very sad station but it's gonna grow you're gonna grow it right all aboard <laughs> And these guys work in hectic uh, conditions. <laughs> we should get our bonus. No. Oh no, we need to complete uh, 320. So, so far we've only transported 47. So we're getting there. Um, so now let's look at the next. Um, so it says reach 25,000 citizens the inhabitants of Boston demand beer look around for the best place to start a supply route okay so let's start delivering some beer some alcohol I mean who doesn't need some <laughs> hey so let's go to, let's click on to Boston let's look at the stock and demand of the city and beer so currently nobody's supplying they, what's this? The demand. They do demand 0.4. With 0.4% alcohol. <laughs> uh, I'm just joking. Okay, so we need to get a supply for alcohol going. So I know we need wheat. Grain, sorry. So the grain is turned into alcohol. So that means we're going to need to... Um, we're going to need to put down a factory here. But I don't think we can put down a factory at the moment. Let's look at buildings, um, factories, and then brewery. Sorry, so yeah, we need we, we we need grain. So no, we can't put down this yet. We need to reach the. Um, I think we need to reach a certain amount of population. 
so we're gonna get that going Alright guys, so to get the beer to um, to get the beer to Boston, I actually found the city of Albany or the town of Albany and they produce the beer. So we've got a weed that's close to them and um, so I'm just going to start a production line here and send the beer up there to, to Boston. That's going to be the quickest way to get uh, the beer supply running. So let's start with that. Let's go new railroad new railroad line. Okay, let's go from Albany to Boston. Right, and um, let's go our train. We're gonna use the John Bull, and loading should we'll make it automatic. Sorry, automatic. There we go. So currently from Albany we'll be taking passengers, mail and beer. And um, from Boston we'll be bringing back passengers, mail and meat. Perfect. So let's do it. Cool. So let's have a look at this guy being loaded. There's all the beer on the back. Wow, that's a lot of beer. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. All right. Wow, that's a lot of money. That's cool. So I'm sure it uses a lot as well. It uh, uses a lot of cash to run the train, so because of the distance. Wow, that's a lot of uh, meat we're taking back, eh? Sure. Oh, it's a lot of meat. And we're only taking back meat. There's no passengers for that, uh, for that town as yet. But we are being supplied with beer at Boston so that looks good let's have a look yeah perfect so we 30% supply hmm. all right so that's um that's perfect we still haven't reached um 25,000 people yet but we almost had 320 we're at 236 so it's about a hundred more so
This looks like a, a cool view of the trains passing each other. And that's the alcohol train. <laughs> Regarding our new passenger line, that's really good press, especially now that we are delivering goods faster than they are consumed. Passengers can be a more reliable source of income. Right, so we've got um, the 320 passengers done from Boston to Portland. So now we just got to reach 25,000 citizens in Boston. We're currently at 23,000. So we're almost there. We're almost there, guys just an update and uh, there's not much that I could get done um, off screen actually so um, I'm just trying to get the cities uh, increased yeah so I'm, I'm, I'm actually gonna be looking at bringing in more people from uh, cities close by maybe uh, New York we could probably get a line going from New York now with passengers they need so let's have a look at what New York needs New York needs grain and uh, they need corn they do supply uh, what's this where's the supply I think they do supply plots and clothing I think that's that's what that means yeah they do supply clothing and they do supply cloth they've got the mills and they've got the fashion industry yeah I don't think the town do any of the towns need that let's have a look at Boston let's have a look so they do need cloth and they don't need clothing just yet that's only from 50,000 citizens so we currently can bring cloth and passengers in from New York so let's get that done and uh, let's see what happens I'm going to use the same line going down here because it's convenient. It's very convenient. We don't need much cash to actually set this up as well. So we're going to use that. Let's have a look at where we can get the town set up from the, the station actually. So train station. Roundabout here seems good. Actually, no, 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 no. This area seems good. Or we can just go around it like this. Maybe this is better. Yeah, that's perfect. That is perfect. And why is because we can actually head off in the opposite direction as well. That's perfect. So let's see how we're going to do this. It's going to go off into that direction. I don't think we can do that, eh? Yeah, that's much better. That's 900,000. That is a lot. So we're going to move this onto the side. There we go. And then here, we're going to have to uh, raise it up. We're not going to go through a tunnel. Because that's just going to give us more cost. There we go. That should be about it. And this place here as well. Let's pick it up. There we go. Much better. 69,000 coins. And that's going to be going onto that track. Perfect. So we build that. And then we get the second one going onto that track. Perfect. That's a bit more though. 
it didn't set to the same level i'm sure did it let's see did it did it did it yeah well it's still okay it's still good so we'll build that the earthworks is costing a lot and the platform hmm. Hey. So they can cross over here. Perfect, that's fine. Let's just set one more good iron on this end and I think we'll be good to go. Okay, that's there. And we gotta get our direction. So that's gonna be let's just uh have a look here. That's going up. That's going down. Perfect. Okay, so we've got that going. We've got New York City 2. Hmm. I wonder why it's called New York City 2. Is there a New York City 1 here somewhere? Anyway. It says New York City. I don't know. Maybe two is for the cargo that they are um, supplying, maybe. The two, two, two cargoes. Okay, so let's get a new line. We're going to do New York to Boston. That's Boston right there. New York City 2 to Boston. Right. Uh, let's put the John Bull in place. Cargo we can do automatic, whatever's available. Actually, we're going to be supplying, we're going to be, New York is going to be supplying passengers, mail, cloth, and clothing. Boston will be supplying them with meat and passengers and mail. So it's either way a good, good trade. Let's get that going. Let's see if they really take you out. Um, oh, so they've got, okay, so the, the, the competitor is also running this, this town. Alright. So we're currently taking mail and cloth for Boston. So we still need that. That's going to be a good run. Okay, so this line is getting busy. Let's have a look at what's coming into Boston. We're getting passengers coming in from New York. We're getting mail and we're getting cloth. Right, so we're currently on 24,000 um, inhabitants. 25, we actually reached it now. There we go. We are on 25,000. Let's have a look here. So it says 24, so it hasn't updated here yet. But we are almost there. There we go. This small hardware store that I inherited from my father. By now, it has grown into a stately company. And with the help of the railway, it can become really big. We have already done a lot for the people in this region. Shorter travel times, increased transport of goods, and at the same time, our registers are ringing. As a next step, we should consolidate our success. Take a look at your list. I've added some more tasks. All right, so we've received new tasks. So we need to transport a total of 4,800 passengers, and we need to reach 30,000 citizens in Albany. So we've already actually uh, got a railway to Albany, so that's fine. If you need help, you can always open the tips and tricks. So we, um, here you will find more information about each topic. So if you have a look here, we need to reach 30,000. We've already transported 20,000 people, so that's a good thing. And we've got the train coming in from New York here. So let's have a look at how much we make. And um, I'm going to actually end the episode here, guys. So let's just first um, have a look at how much we make from New York. And what we are sending back to them. 21,000 coins. That's a lot of money. What are we sending back to them?
a lot of mail. Let's just check. Let's just check. Uh, which we are. So yeah, we we only sending them passengers and mail. Well, we made twenty-one thousand coming down. That's a lot of a lot of coins. So that's a good run. That's a very good run. We are almost. You can see we are. We 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 we. We just need ten thousand people more to transport for for Albany. So that's a good thing. Um, but I think this is where we're gonna leave it off, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's my first time playing this game. I haven't played the railway. Um, uh, you know the first game and stuff like this in this uh, series so um, this is railway empire 2 so i hope you enjoyed it please leave a like on the video please subscribe to the channel if you um if you find my content interesting and uh yeah thanks guys i'll catch you on the next one